Hi there, love. How are you doing? Please, come sit down. There's always space for you. How's my best paying customer been? Ooh, off on another fancy quest. Well, tell me all about it later, darling. Yeah, it's a bit busier than normal. So I'm just here cleaning glasses so that Evelyn over there can start serving some tables. Oh no, she's been a total doll. You have no clue. Like, she's been such a sweetheart for me recently. <laughs> you have no idea, darling. She's been doing above and beyond, and I am really excited to hopefully get enough money to actually give her something more. Uh, but with how those people are eating, I doubt it. Yeah, yeah, another round is coming soon. Calm down, you've just had another one. Give it some time. <laughs> we are one of the few taverns that actually regulates our patrons a little. I know, I know, the drunker they are, the more they eat, the more they drink, the more money they make me, but... I don't know. It's something about the trust... The, the, I don't know. You know how you sometimes get a vibe? Surely you're an adventurer, you should have met some people who are just a wrong vibe, right? Yeah, that. I got that with those people, you know, love. <laughs> I haven't even seen Sweet Evelyn over there yet. I can't stand the thought. I've told Kiva to keep an eye on him, though. Yeah, the bouncer. <laughs> As you call them. Why did you ever start calling her that anyway? <laughs> she what? She bounced someone in the air once, eh? Hey? That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, she is... Oh, she's amazing. Everyone who's been helping me out here has been amazing, honestly. It, it doesn't matter, though. Right now, what matters is getting you a drink. What you want? Sounds good. Here, take this. It's some candy. Some dwarven candy, to be exact. Not my usual style, I would say, but I've been quite enjoying them. They're really good, you know. Oh no, they are! Aren't they? They're a little salty. <sighs> they go great with their ale. <laughs> yeah, some dwarven ale then. I'm coming right up. Let's start with the light stuff. How hard do you want to go to Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Can totally do this for you. <laughs> like I said, we regulate our patrons. And if you want some regulation, then you'll get some regulation. Don't worry about it. Anyway, here you go. That's your gloss. I'm gonna go over there for a minute, if you don't mind. Say, actually, mind coming with me? That sort of yours might be useful. There's no trouble there. Hey! What's up here? You know, seriously, why are you harassing her? <laughs> She's been one of my staff, working under my work. Uh, Evelyn Darling get out of here. Just go beyond the bar and continue cleaning the glasses I left off there. I'll take care of this. Look there, pal. I told her to hold your drinks. So if you got a problem with that, have a problem with me. Oh. <laughs> Getting feisty, eh? Look, Paddy, you're drunk. Sit down, enjoy the night. <sighs> I told you, sit down. Please. That's it! And if anyone else wants a piece of that, come and get it outside now. Shoo! All of you. <laughs> that should take care of him. Ah, damn, they didn't even pay their tab. Hmm? What's up? That kick? Oh, yeah, I, um... <laughs> I got a bit of skill in me. Well, aren't you surprised? Oh! Wait, where where did you say that your friend was from? What monastery again? Oh my god, that's such a coincidence. How's Hobart been? 
<laughs> of course I know Grandmaster Hobart. He was my mentor too, you know. I'm surprised he's still alive. You must be so old right now. Does make sense that I haven't heard a funeral right now. Oh, here I thought they forgot about me. <laughs> Come back to the bar. I'll tell you a little secret. Hey, Evelyn, darling, you good? Good. Did those fuckers touch you? Good. Take a breather, love. Don't worry about the patrons. They can wait for a minute. Everyone would understand. <laughs> Knowledge jokes won't shout their faces. But if you feel good, go tell Killers that they are not allowed inside. Thank you kindly, doll. You've been most kind. Now, why don't you go take a breather? Take a drink if you need. One drink, and please don't take anything of the strong stuff. I don't need you drunk as well. And I'm gonna continue bleeding these glasses. Oh, she's too kind for her own good, I swear. She could be a cleric or something. Some saint. <sighs> anyway, I've been keeping a secret from you, haven't I? <laughs> for how long we friends, I've kept it quite well, I would say. Well, you see, I started this bar for adventurers, right? Specifically put it in the middle of nowhere where people could cross between different cities. Yeah, um, I did that because I wanted this tavern to be here when I traveled. <laughs> One and truly. I have been an adventurer myself. I come from that monastery your friend is from as well. Mm hmm. I've been a trained monk for a while. Give up the ways, though, a long time ago. Chose a path of civilian life instead. Though I still practice regularly, I just don't. My life has gotten meaning beyond adventure. To the point where if I would leave now to go back to it, I do not think I will be half as content as I thought I would be. Like when I started. <laughs> And that's not a bad thing. Not at all. It's just a thing. Many a monster, darling. Many a monster. I've killed quite a few. Slayed beasts and undead and dragons and made my dabblings with the fey and the devils and everything. I had it all, but. Well, when I met Evelyn, when she was just a little kid, I knew that... Sure, my adventuring does a lot, and it does a lot of good. But there's something so pure about the way she was helping others. Just by being a safe space. I wanted to try that for a while, and as an elf, I have plenty of time. It's been a few hundred years now since I adventured. <laughs> 426 exactly. That's my age. I think it's been like 200 years. I'm content though. I've found my place in life. Indeed. That's how I'm able to give all that useful information. And all the good advice and those contacts. Those are all people I once knew or descendants of the people I once knew. Quite kind people, you know? Either way, <laughs> I have no interest in sharing old tales of my adventures, I'll be very honest. That time is long past me, and I've since taken up a new life. Owning this tavern, it brings me a joy and a pride that I do not experience while adventuring. That I cannot. Having some place that I can truly call my own is special to me. Something I cherish greatly. And something I will not give up again. <laughs> so yeah, that's my story. I truly hope I didn't bore you with all the yapping. My apologies if I did. <laughs> oh, don't worry. If you really are curious, I can tell you about the tales another night. But tonight it's a tad bit too... Ah, pardon me. Busy. <laughs> 
for now. You enjoy your ale, and then I'll come back to you with some other rounds later on. You can tell me about all those stories. Your room's already been prepared, I expect to see the gold tomorrow. For tonight, I'll keep your tap open until you've reached your limit. And yeah, enjoy your evening, I suppose. I'll be running around if you need me, okay? Later, love. Hey, Wispus. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This was definitely fun to make. This is based on an NPC idea, actually, a hut, which I think was based on a Reddit prompt, but I don't know. The idea of an adventurer running a tavern seems cool, and then the idea of her being secretly very powerful seems even better. Might try to have my players at some point, though, not in the current setting. I don't think Barovia quite suits this. <laughs> Regardless, I hope you had fun listening to this, and that I will see you in the next one on Monday. Till then, my sweet whispers. Goodbye.